Number two, unleash your potential. So many people have died without unleashing their potential. You know, my Smuron said something. He said, the graveyard is filled up with the greatest asset on the planet Earth. Now, most people think that gold is the greatest asset. But the greatest asset is in the mortuary and in the cemetery because books that were supposed to change nations were never written. People hoarded those materials, thought about it, had solutions to the problems that will happen in the 21st century, but they never had the opportunity of unleashing their potential of writing. They never unleashed their potential of speaking to their nation so that it can be documented for the next generation to take those information because history determines today's reality. And now they are dead and nothing can be done. So those are the greatest assets in the cemetery. And may you also not be among those that would die without being empty. We aim to die empty, meaning we've utilized every giftings and potential that we have. You can do almost everything if you put your heart to it. All you need to do is to learn and study, and you can get better every day. Number three, discover your market. It's not enough to uncover your potential and your talents and your giftings. It's not enough to unleash your potential. You need to discover your target market. What market requires and desires the talent that you offer? Book readers may never love your music. So selling your music to book readers may not work. Music lovers may never love your prayer album. So selling your prayer album to them may never work. So the question is, where is your target audience? Everybody has a market but you need to discover that market so that you focus your marketing on that market. And that's why we have different channels like YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter, and the rest of these platforms. You are able to do marketing targeting your audience. You are not marketing to the whole world. You are marketing to the audience that is interested in the product that you have to offer. And that is what makes you stand out in this life. You must understand that the bigger your market, the greater your income. Your market can be bigger by virtue of revelation, by virtue of discoveries. Number four, develop your product. Don't just say you're a writer and then you just write vaguely, you didn't research, no, cop no um, proofreading, no nothing. You just release the book. No packaging. Develop your product. Packaging matters. People are moved by what they see at first sight. You know, they say love at first sight. Love at first sight means I love what I saw. So it became love at first sight. Number six, market your product. Anything without marketing will fail, no matter how good it is. A good product minus marketing equals to no sale. A bad product with good marketing equals to little sale or little success. And then good product plus good marketing equals to great sales and great success. You must understand this principle and formula so that you can achieve your aims and become a successful business person. Dr. Olumide Emmanuel says, product without marketing and publicity is like winking in the dark and expecting a response. You must make it a priority to make a lot of people discover your product. Let people discover your product. Market your product with strategies. It's not enough to market. You must market with strategies that will enable people to bring the money that will cause your business to expand. We are looking at the vehicles and the paths of wealth creation. Number seven, become a good manager of your cash flow. It's not enough to generate money for your business or generate money through your business. Become a good manager of cash flow. Know when to staff, how to staff, and the number of staff to have per time. Become a good manager of your cash flow. This is very important. Most businesses have died not because there was no business or there was no market for them, is because the managers of the resources were very poor. Finally, number eight, invest in yourself. 
don't just um, create money and then spend it to reinvest and reinvest. Invest in yourself. Get books. Develop your talent. Develop yourself to become a better person and a leader in your industry. The more you study, the greater you become. One of the biggest secrets on the planet are those that are at the top are great learners. They keep learning every day. I notice that poor people hate to learn. Poor people hate to be corrected. Poor people hate to be teachable. Strive to be a person that is teachable. Be so teachable that you never get angry when you get corrected. People that are open to learning are people that are open to greatness. Great people are great learners. Become a great person today by being a learner. These important points is going to help you to create wealth that will help you last long in business and help your generation yet unborn.